Well, this is my life now. Um, hey, what's up? It is me, Mr. Lee, Gaming12, and we're playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger looking good dating simulator because I've got nothing better to do with my life, and this actually seemed to catch my interest, so... Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd like to say that sometime I'd, we're gonna get to fuck Colonel Sanders. That's that's gonna be the goal, so... Why don't, why don't we go ahead and just get into it? Just get into it. I already love the art style. I already do. This is actually pretty... Pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Uh, before we get started, tell us your name. Mr. Lee. Perfect. Oh god. I'm already concerned, but that looks delicious. We got our biscuits, we got our chicken. Oh dear. And my game froze. There we go. Oh, okay. I need to get on my narrator voice. <clears throat> You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, 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 now. It's your first day of school. Oh, God, that's annoying. Ah, there's no time to sleep in. Smack that clock up and at him. Oh, um, fuck that. You slept through the school year. And gave up on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Game over already. You might not be cut off. Oh shit! I already lost the game. Fuck. That was that was that was quick. Okay. Um. Fuck this game. I'm just kidding. Let's try that again. Okay. So don't throw the alarm clock outside of the window. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. That's that's absolutely hilarious. And I do enjoy that. Very much so. Wah. Hey, chosen! Thank you for the follow. Welcome back to fucking. All right, let's let's try this again. You sleep softly. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in forever, and you could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now. Now, first day of color is okay. I learned our lesson from last time. Smack that clock up and at him. How's it going, Chosen? I love you. Um, the lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits for you at your prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. That's that's brilliant. That's UCS, University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Brilliant naming. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time to fly begins to fly by as you let your imagination getting away from you. You'll need I'll need to take this seriously. I'll allow myself to daydream a bit, thinking of the future. No, I need to take this seriously. Well, I better make sure to arrive prepared for this first day. That's my voice, if you can't figure that out. You bust through your morning checklist, teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. You comfortably grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head to class. What you need to get your blood flowing. A delicious biscuit. Standing at the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School. UCS for short. Academy for Learning. Here comes your life lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met. And you absolutely love her for it. Oh, hold on. I gotta think of a good voice for her. Uh, what voice should I do for this? Um, should she be Joyzy? Well, good morning, Mr. Lee. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our... Oh, I hate that voice. Good morning, Mr. Lee. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited to get a little nervous. Okay, a lot nervous. Oh god, I should not be a voice actor. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste my love in any of the... Or any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh, she's crying. Get over it, bitch. <laughs> Classic Miriam, raised by MasterChef parents. She's always held herself to a very high standard. 
Ever since we were little babies playing together, you rescued me from that quicksand box. It's been clear that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. It's me being supportive. <laughs> oh. But with the University of Cooking School of Academy for Learning famous three-day on three only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Fuck, this is a, this is a great school. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair but for the dramatic, but this summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Come again? Okay. Nah, change the subject, school gossip, pep talk, your best friend. Oh, hey, what's up? This is Colonel Sanders finger licking good dating simulator. Welcome, welcome, this just came out yesterday. Welcome to my life. Um. <coughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give her, give her a good old pep talk, because she needs it. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tart cards read? Remember in JoJo's? That was me. I'm Jotaro. Jotaro. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares. I've been trying to forget. Oh. Finger licking good. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were... That you were... You were destined for great things. I could speak English. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? Maybe I should be. No, it's a uh, Mr. Jotaro. Oh, remember that card in the fancy looking tower and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. It is no time to be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. Mmm. Mmm. Yare yare daze. As you talk Mir as you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves beginning to ease. You know what? Everything will be okay after all. And if not, I at least have those killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? Ah, uh, I can believe. Good for you. You definitely you definitely can believe it. You definitely can believe it. Okay. I, uh, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Before you get another word, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hand and onto the ground. Oh, they're little Mr. Lee spoons. Okay. Hey! It's... Ashley? Is that supposed to be Ashley? God damn, why do I have to spell that in so many ways? It's your rival, Ashley. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything and anything she ever wants, and she knows it. Ugh. Yada yada does it. Hello, Ashley. Yada, god damn it. I can't pick voices to save my life. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Oh, she's a bitch. She needs a bitch voice. You leave Mr. Lee's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. What a fucking bitch. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. You tell them. You tell that bitch that we know what shins look like. We're not going to we're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best I'm going to call her Ashley. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, <laughs> has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes as he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. So from the looks of this, it seems I'm either going to fuck Van Van the Man Man in his perfectly glute tights, or if I'm gonna fuck Colonel Sanders. Ahem, <laughs> Van Van. Oh, God. You ran ring. Dear Lord. Are you... I'm pretty sure this is a JoJo's game. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Oh, my God. My dream is to fuck Colonel Sanders. That's the goal of this game. If we don't get to fuck Colonel Sanders, this isn't going to be worth it. I can't believe the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they'd just hand us our diplomas now? God, I can't think of a voice for any of these. 
Or maybe just hire us on as profession professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Flex. Let's see. When the first day of school is about to start, there's not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers. No oh, good lord. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Ew. Uh, oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Yeah, fuck you, kid. Get shit on. You got shit. Get out of my university. Uh, that should, uh, do the trick. I love you. Oh, no, I don't want to fuck the kid. No, 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 Get away from me. I think, I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. I don't know why I'm making him sound like a gremlin, but I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. Could someone like this also be a student at this school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh. Hi, Pop. I'm Mr. Lee, so... Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Nope. Yes. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? It is just you. <laughs> it is just fucking you. Uh, yeah, see? It's me. I think it's just you. I knew that shit before it even came. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wandered to keep themselves busy. Just chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium in front of the class. Hmm. Adorable. Now, oh, hold on, he needs to be a professor voice. <clears throat> no, 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 quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCL, UCSAL. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. What the fuck am I doing with my life? What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a squirrel of cherry blossom fills... Cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm... <clears throat> sorry. I'm chilly. Somebody closed the window. And then... He walks in. Good lord, look at that man. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, I should have asked myself before I started this shit. Oh dear, you're right. <sighs> oh well. You're, you're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. I am fully erect at the sight of this man. It's him, it's... Well, if it isn't my favorite student, Harland... Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Finger licking good, call me Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down to the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your bow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. And you're not entirely wrong. And this must be Sweaty McSweats a lot. Maybe we should open up the window back before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Now, hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is it with all your weird insults? Besides, when Mr. Lee sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. That's disgusting. Take, take a moment, okay. Gee, I guess I got no other options. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps into, into settle, the class 
down and set up some ground rules. Welcome to the University's Cooking School, Academy of Learning. The greatest culinary academy around the world, the birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said is done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and then completely broom the cooking area. Just then, another student interrupts the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Or in the colonel's say in the colonel's sense, an arousing speech. <laughs> oh. Good lord. Hi, hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a really good summer. I really miss Quiet Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you're in you're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school. With you as my teacher. Ah, oh, poor schmuck. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you, students, that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student's sprinkles is reflecting, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. The class bursts into laughter. I would too, look at that. I like him already. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Like that. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart and but tough is well known. Uh, you try to butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Oh. Oh. Uh, beef treat. Rubber ball. Chicken snack. Mmm. Um, beef treat. Let's give him a beef treat. You reach beneath your apron and return with a small bit of beef jerky in your hands. Sprinkles' eyes go wide as he locks onto it. Beef? You trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that. Shit. You clearly do not belong here. Please remove your apron and then remove your, yourself from this class in school. What the fuck? I didn't think that'd be game over. Okay. It seems to reach the end of the line, chef. The proverbial game over. Let me try that again, thank you. Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> 